Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 22nd of 2020. Well, it is titled Triffid Pillars and Jets. So what do we see here? Well, this is a small portion of the Triffid Nebula, which is a region of star formation. And that's what we see here in these great mountains of dust, as you see sticking up towards the upper left hand side. The mountains survive because they are the denser regions. So when stars form, they have great stellar winds and the radiation pressure from those stars pushes outward and eats away at the lower density material, pushing it away and the higher density material remains. So much as we get rock formations here on Earth, where the less dense material is eaten away by wind and water erosion, we have the same kind of thing happening out in space. And if you look at some of these smaller pillars kind of sticking out, then they are regions where a star is forming at the very tip there. And it is again being eaten away by the bright star, which you cannot see, which would be off the edge of the top of the image here. So almost pointing, it's almost pointing at that star showing you where it is and the radiation from that star then pushes away at the material and actually will eat away at the star and end up end up being smaller than it otherwise would have been because it is pushing away the material that was starting to form that star. So it will end up being a less massive star than it was. Now the star formation will continue throughout the nebula and as things are eaten away by the stars that do form, we will then begin to see what is going on within this. And in fact, we can see that there is a jet of material uh, that we can see uh, shining through here kind of going off diagonally towards the upper left, a little jet of material and what is forming that is still hidden within the dust and we can't quite see it yet. But it looks like and studies would say that in about the next 20,000 years or so, enough material will have been eaten away here that we will be able to see the source of that jet, likely a newly forming star as often young stars will form jets of material as they finish their uh, formation in terms of becoming a star. Now many of the other objects that you see here are stars and relatively young stars that have formed, although less massive ones. It is the most massive stars that do the most towards shaping the nebula itself. It is those very high mass stars that do all of the work and have the very intense stellar winds and radiation pressure that will shape the nebula and change it over the next few tens of thousands of years. So that was our picture of the day for December the 20th of 2020. It was titled Triffid Pillars and Jets. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.